Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use factor trees to work out the highest common factor of two numbers. So let's go straight into it. So what is the highest common factor of 180 and 150? Part B. So 684 and 960. So first one. So the highest common factor of 180 and 150 is. So to do this, so we can uh, use factor trees to work it out. So let's start with 180 first. So 180. So 180 is 2 times 90 or 10 times 18. Doesn't matter which way, okay? So I'll just write 10 times 18 first. So 10 times 18. And 10 is 2 times 5. But then 2 and 5 are prime numbers. So we just circle it first. So to know that we finished with that two numbers. And 18 is 6 times 3 or 2 times 9. Doesn't matter. So I just write 3 times 6. So then 3 is a prime number. So I just circle it. So I know I'm done with that. And 6 is 2 times 3. There you go. 2 is a prime. 3 is a prime. Now 180, I just write here 180, which is equal to, now we have 2, 1, 2. So 2 times 2. And then we have 3 and this 3 as well. So times 3, times 3. And then times 5, this 5 here. So times 5. So we just live in expanded form. So 150, so just right here, 150 is equal to 15 times 10 or time, 10 times 15, okay? 10 times 15. Or it can be 2 times 75, okay? Whichever way you like. And then 10 is 2 times 5. 2 and 5 are prime numbers, right? So just circle it. So I'm done with this. And 15 is 3 times 5. There you go. So 150, I just write down here. 150 is equal to. So we have 2 times 3. 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. So now what we do is we just circle the common numbers, right? So we have a 2 here and this 2. And then this one we have a 3 and 3. So we have 5 and 5. So therefore, the highest common factor is equal to. So 2 times 3 times 5. So which equal to, so 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. So therefore, the highest common factor of 180 and 150 is 30. Second one, 684 and 960. So we just have to draw the factor tree out first. So 684. So we know that 684 is divisible by 4 and divisible by 2 as well. So whichever one you want to do, doesn't really matter. So in this case, I just go for 4, okay? So I can split it out. It doesn't matter whether 2 or 4, okay? So I start with 4. So 4 go to 6 is 1. Remainder 2 becomes 28. So 4 go to 28 is 7 times. And 4 go to 4 is 1's. There you go. And 4 is 2 times 2. And that's it with this. Because 2 is a prime number. Now, 171 
because if you add 1 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 9. So therefore, it's divisible by 3 and divisible by 9, right? So we just divide by 3. So this is 3 times. 3 go to 17 is 5 times because 5 times 3 is 15. So remainder is 2 becomes 21. So 3 go to 21 is 7. So that 3 is a prime number and 57 is divisible by by 3 because 5 plus 7 is 12. So 12 is divisible by 3. So we split this even more. So 3 times 3 go to 5 is 1, remainder 2. So that becomes 27. So 3 go to 27 is 9. So therefore, 3 and 19 are prime numbers. So we just circle it. There you go. So 684 is equal to, so we have 1, 2, so 2 times 2, and then 1, 2, so which is 3 times 3, and times 19. So this is it. This is product of prime numbers for 684. So now we're going to go for 960. So 960, the easiest way is 10 times 96. So I just write 10 times 96. Then 10 is 2 times 5, right? So this is 2 times 5. And then 96 is divisible by 2. Or it can be divisible by 3 because 9 plus 6 is 15. So it doesn't matter whether you go for 2 first or 3 first. doesn't really matter. So let's go for 2, okay? And then 2 times. So 2 go to 9 is 4 times. So 4 times 2 is 8. So therefore, the remainder is 1. Becomes 16. So 2 go to 16 is 8 times. So that becomes 48. And now, don't forget this 2 is a prime. This is a prime. This is a prime. Now 48. So 48 is divisible by 4, right? Because 4 go to 4 is 1, 4 go to 8 is twice. So therefore, we go 4. Now 4 go to 4 is once, and then 4 go to 8 is 2 times. There you go. Or it can be 2 times 24 if you like, okay? So just write this first, and then 4 is 2 times 2, and 12 is 3 times 4 and don't forget this is 2 is a prime and these are primes number and then 4 is equal to 2 times 2 and these are prime now we just write 960 as a product of prime so 960 is equal to so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the uh, 3, we have only 1, 3, which is times by 3. And we have 5 there. See, times by 5. So now we just circle the common number, okay? So we don't miss out any number. So we have it here. So just write down. So this is... We have two here, these two, and then we have another two here. And that's it for two. Then we have these three with this, and then that's it. So therefore, the highest common factor for 684 and 960 is two times two times three. And two times two is four. Four times three, is 12. There you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How did you go? So let's go through it together, okay? So first one, let's start with factor trees first. So 675. So because the number ends with 5, so therefore it is 
divisible by 5. So just write this down. And 5 times a number, right? So 5 go to 6 is 1's remainder 1. So that becomes 17. So 5 go to 17 is 3 times. Because 3 times 5 is 15. So therefore, remainder is 2. So it becomes 25. So 5 go to 25 is 5 times. There you go. So this 5 here is a prime. Now 135 is divisible by 5 because the number is n with 5. So therefore, this is equal to 5 times. And 5 go to 13 is 2 times. And the remainder is 3. So it becomes 35. Now 5 go to 35 is 7 times. So it becomes 27. And this is 5 is a prime. And 27 is 3 times 9. So this becomes 3 times 9. And we circle this because 3 is a prime number. And 9 is 3 times 3. So let me split this out. 3 times 3. And we circle it. Now we just need to write 675 as a product of prime numbers. So we just write 6. 7, 5 is equal to. So we start with 3, 1, 2, 3. So 3 times 3 times 3. And then what we have here now is 5 and 5. So times by 5 and times by 5. Now 630, so let me write out here first. So 630. So 630 is equal to 10 times 63, right? Just easier. So you go 10 times 63. Or can be 2 times a number and you work it out, right? Whichever way. Or can be 5 times a number. But the obvious one is 10 times 63. So just work it out from there. And 10 is 2 times 5. So these two numbers are prime. And 63 is, we know that is 9 times 7. Or 7 times 9. So I write 7 here and 9. And 7 is a prime number. So now is 3 times 3. And of course, this is prime number. So now we just need to write 630 as a product of prime. So that 630 is equal to, so we have 2, 3, 3. 2 times 3 times 3. And we have 5 and 7. So now we just need to circle the common numbers. So we have 3 here with this 3 and this 3 and this 3. Then we have 5 as well, this 5. There you go. So the common numbers are 3, 3, 5, right? So therefore, let me write this down. So therefore, the highest common factor for 675 and 630 is 3 times 3 times 5. And 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. So therefore, the highest common factor is 45. Last one. So again, we just draw a factor tree for both number first. So 1,200. So which is 12 times 100, right? So 12 times 100. Then 12 is 4 times 3. So I just write here. Or 3 times 4. And 3 is a common factor. Then 4 is 2 times 2. And we circle it because we're done with these two numbers, right? And then 100. Now 100 is 4 times 25. Or 2 times 50. Whichever way you like, okay? So 2 times 50. And then 50 is 5 times 10. Cool? So 5 times 10. So 5 is a prime number. And 10 
is 2 times 5. So we circle this. This is it. So now I just need to write it out. So 1200 is equal to, so we have these two, these two, these two, these two. So four of them. So which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the next one is 3. We have 5 and 5. There you go. I think this is it for that. And then next one is 2050. So 2050 is equal to 205 times 10. So just split this out. So 10 times 205. Then 10 is 2 times 5. So this is prime and this is prime. Now 205 is divisible by 5. So which is equal to 5 times. Then 5 go to 20 is 4 times. And then 5 go to 5 is 1s. So this is a prime. And 41 is a prime number. Okay. So this is it. So now we just need to write it out. So let me move this up a bit. So 2000 and 50 is equal to, so we have 2, 5, 5, 41. 2 times 5 times 5 times 41. Just, now we just need to circle the common number. So this is 2 here, and we have 5, and we have 5. This is it. So therefore, the highest common factor for 1200 and 2050 is 2 times 5 times 5. And that give me 50. There you go. Of course, you can also check your answer by using your calculator as well. So I'll show you how to use calculator to work this out. So what we need to do is we need to press alpha and then we press the multiplication button to get GCD. I think it is for greatest common denominator. So if I'm wrong, please comment it below so I know what it stands for. So, but I think it is greatest common denominator. I think, okay? Anyway, this button will help you to work out the highest common factor for two numbers, okay? So we should type 1200 and then comma. To get comma, you press shift and then the close bracket button. So there you go. And then we type 2050. And don't forget to close the bracket. And then we press equal. So there you go. So the highest common factor for these two numbers is 50. See, we can go back and check this one out. So now I just type alpha and then the multiply, multiply button. And then we type 675 and comma to get the comma. So you have to press shift and the close bracket. So this one here, and then we type 630. So you type 630 and then you close the bracket. Okay. And don't forget to press equal. So 45. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.